Are you someone who likes to travel with your kids or do you run away at the thought of the idea because it feels so intimidating, it seems like so much work and you just don't feel like you have it in you? Well, if you do need some encouragement to get away with your little ones, then this is the video for you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Julie. I'm an occupational therapist and a mom, and I like to post all things mom-ish, mom-related that makes my life easier. I post a lot of videos on organization, time management, planning and today we're talking about traveling with kids and how you need to plan for that too so uh before i get into the video i thought i would do a little vlog style packing pack with me type of thing because we managed to get away for one night uh two days sort of two hours from where we live so we drove here we didn't fly because you know Hashtag pandemic 2020 you don't really want to be flying if you don't need to but actually where we are You know, we usually live in New York City. So well, we don't usually we do live in New York City <laughs> So we were able to get away uh, To a little beach town which just has so much more space. You don't really need to be in contact with anybody So it's definitely a great way to spend uh, the summer with while still abiding with social isolation we took the opportunity to have a little getaway and that is definitely something that I would encourage you to do. I'm someone who can easily feel overwhelmed with the idea of traveling with kids even though I've done it a fair amount although I'm a little out of practice but if you do have the opportunity to go away with your kids don't be afraid just try it out. The worst that can happen is that you come home and you need a little break. It does depend on their ages. Uh, my kids are now five and two and a half so it's a little bit easier but there's still a little blips in, along the way with the sleeping and things like that but it just is so rewarding to go and stay in a different place to get some fresh air to have a change of scenery and you know what's also strange is that because it's I'm staying somewhere else like in a house or a hotel or something like that I'm not like obsessed with or, doing things around my home so I can actually focus on other things. So I think that's a good uh, a good thing to abide by. Another tip for traveling with kids is something you've probably heard before, but pack lighter than you think. Especially if it's a short trip, you probably can survive with not having the choice of clothing that you want or the choice of books or something like that. You can you can survive for 24 to 48 hours. And especially if there's a washing machine, uh, you can definitely wash, the, wash your clothes or heaven forbid, you have to actually hand wash some clothes. Holy moly, uh, you know, you'll survive and that might be good. So don't feel like you need to pack so many things. I'm gonna show you how we packed. I mean, we only packed for one night, so it's not a long time, but we put everybody's clothes in one bag so that we can just handle it. We don't need lots of things. And even though, you know, when traveling with kids, people bring so much stuff, the kitchen sink, the whole thing, kids' clothes are very small, um, so they shouldn't actually take up that much space. Uh, interruption happening, hold on. We'll see. Okay, and then my other tip that I get reminded of time and again is pack food, more food than you think because you just don't know when you'll be able to get it and no one wants to have hangry mom and dad or hangry parents and kids. Um, often when we think of the kids, we pack all these like kids snacks, but when it comes to being, it comes to the adults, at least for me, I don't want to eat like squeezy things or there's certain things that I, that are not really pleasing for me as an adult, but make sure that you have food. Something really brilliant that my husband came up with is that we order some sandwiches and like proper food before we leave we go pick it up and then depending on how far away we're going we'll eat the food when we arrive so as soon as we get there we kind of unpack the car and then we can have a proper meal lunch because typically you know we're probably arriving somewhere mid-morning maybe lunchtime and people are hungry so the other the other option is that you can actually eat the food in the car if you want pack a towel so you can lay a towel on your kid's lap uh, so that they don't get food everywhere have some wipes with you so you can wipe anything off their fingers or whatever but having real food not just snacks definitely helps okay so those are my three big tips before you even get going and now i'm going to show you what i packed for two days with two little kids for a little beach retreat okay so i'm going to start with some of the things 
that we don't usually bring that have been game changing for us and we always regret when we don't bring them. The one is right here. Oh, I can see my hand. These, what would you call them? Eye masks for sleeping. Oh my gosh. You usually get these like free on a flight. I think we got these when we bought our bed, but these are game changers because you just don't know what the setup is going to be like wherever you're staying. And often uh, they're not blackout curtains or whatever. And if the sun's rising so early, anything that can get you a few more hours of sleep or a few more minutes of sleeping, highly recommend. Also, if you are able, fortunate enough to take a nap, that's awesome. And then something that we did differently this time is we brought our own pillows. Uh, because sometimes when you go and stay at places, the pillows are really crappy. Uh, here, not really, but it's so nice to have our own pillows and because we were driving, we kind of just threw them in. Uh, really good idea. I definitely recommend if you have space. And then something else for kids is a sound machine. So if you watched my previous video, two videos ago about uh, essentials for kids, I talk about this little gizmo and it's really not that big. Like if you look at it compared to the eyes, it's really not that big, the eye masks. Um, and then that just helps with the kids a little bit more normal because that's the one that we use at home. Then we have lovies, that kind of stuff. And then I just want to show you kind of what I bought for the kids. Um, super simple, like pajamas. Don't forget those for the adults either. We've often gone away and forgotten to pack pajamas and bathing suits. Those are the two things. And then you're like, do I go buy more again? No, that would irk me. You just have to deal with it. <laughs> I don't care if you sleep naked. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and then I always recommend, even if you're going somewhere sunny or warm, to pack like one warm set of clothing. So we do literally have one pair of long pants for uh, Theo, we have a long pair of pants for Lily and then like a tracksuit top sweatshirt type of thing for each of them Just to throw over if they get cold two t-shirts one pair of shorts uh, Don't forget beach vacation, but I think anytime just hats are really helpful uh, One of these like beach cover-up things for kids uh, It's just like a long sleeved um, I can pull it out actually to show you, but it's like a long sleeved, what would you call this? Like quick dry uh, shirt for for getting wet and on the beach. Like I'm paranoid about like, them getting sunburned. So I definitely, I have one for each of them. They dry super easily. And also then if you needed an extra top or something, they could definitely uh, double up as that. Then I have two little books, but often if you go into a place that like caters for kids, you don't need to bring toys or books really because they have that already. Then for Lily, pajamas, diapers, nappies, just for nighttime. So I only have like a couple, Daphne wipes. I use, I use the Natty brand if anyone's interested, especially with traveling, um, Swedish brand. And they're supposed to be the most kind of like biodegradable diapers you can get. Wipes, some shorts for her. Um, I brought these dresses in the hope that she would wear them. They're so cute, she doesn't want to wear them, but you know, I'm gonna keep trying. And then I have like a, I would call it a toiletry bag. Let me know what you guys would call it. Uh, where I put, I've put everybody's stuff in there. Uh, so, and what, one thing else that I thought was genius, but my husband was like not that impressed, is we all have electric toothbrushes. So I bought all of our little electric toothbrush heads and just one electric toothbrush. I thought that was genius, but he wasn't that impressed. <laughs> and then obviously sunscreen, which I don't have right now. It's somewhere downstairs in our little beach bag, probably. And then definitely bug spray. Like that's something else that I often forget. And then I definitely regret it. So everything on the bed here, as well as, sorry, straws on the floor, our laundry, which it looks a big mess, but I can probably just, I'll need to put, I'll probably find a little bag to put it in and it'll all fit into this bag. So this is an awesome like weekend bag from Patagonia. Love Patagonia. So if you're looking for quality stuff, I definitely recommend them for travel and just in general. And it's not very big, I would say. It's, it And it can fit all four of our, clothes in plus all our sort of toothbrushes, deodorant, toiletry bag type of thing, makeup or whatever. Um, and then it's just one bag for four people. And I think that's pretty good because it's just less stuff that you have to carry and lug when you are trying to um, take things up from the car. It's the worst. So I definitely recommend one bag for all of you. And then you can have another bag for other little things as you need. Yeah. So those are basically the things that we packed for two little kids and ourselves for a really spontaneous beach vacation. Uh, let me know what your essential is to travel with that I probably haven't thought of, that I that would be helpful for everybody. 
The one thing we forgot was in was kind of coffee. Um, we did pack food and like milk and tea and everything because I have to have that when I get somewhere. Um, but we were able to find some when we went out for a little walk and that kind of stuff. So don't forget to subscribe uh, to this channel for more videos like this. Uh, please like it if you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you guys very soon in my next video. Happy summer! Bye!